Hello again, this is 3D Modeler on YouTube. And in this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a biped in 3ds Max and how to modify the biped. A biped is a bone structure um, and a representation of a human being in 3ds Max, and the biped can be changed to represent different um, things than that. But the default look of your biped will be a human being and the biped can be found in the creations panel here and on the icon with the two gears and the standard object type and you should ch uh, choose biped so I'll go here and I'll press down the left mouse button and I'll just drag it up here to get my biped and I'll select that so that I have it in perspective view and I'll maximize that now this is the default biped uh, structure in 3ds Max and as you can see here on the right side, we have uh, the the type here we can choose: the skeleton, female, ma male, female, or classic. This is the old biped type that that were in 3ds Max. In this tutorial, I just uh, choose skeleton. So, what we have here, we have um, different abilities to uh, put in or change our biped's uh, default look. Now, we can uh, extend the neck links here in the one that says neck, spine, and so forth. So, not really anything you couldn't uh, read uh, and understand what it says it will do. Um, one thing we have here as well is the... Just a second here, I'll just increase these. One thing we also have is the ability to insert a prop, and the prop will be could be a sword or anything in uh, that you want to interact with your biped. But these are mostly commonly used by if you have a motion capture gadget that the person uses in the motion capture sequence. So I'll just erase these. <coughs> And as I said before, you can play around with these bones to see what, what they do. This one is uh, the ponytail. You can have two of these, different length. You can uh, have five fingers, or you can have s none, depending on what you're doing. The same goes for the feet. Free feet, uh, free toes, sorry. Uh, toe links, one or three. The same with the hand, you can have three, you can have two, or you can have one link. So, well, now I want to show you how to uh, transform your biped here and make it to fit more inside the the man that you you did or we did before. So what I'm going to do, I'll just open the scene with the man we have created. So this is our man that we did in another tutorial. And I'll just create the biped uh, next, right next to him. And almost the same size as our man, like so. I'll just move it a bit here. To the, le to the right of him. Or to his left. Um, all right. So what I'm going to do, I wanted to increase the, the width on the hips here. So that it would fit inside our man. So what I'm going to do, I'll select the hip uh, of the pelvis region here. And I go into the wheel uh, um, icon here, and we get this new menu here called Biped. Now we have this uh, small man, and I'll click that one. This will allow me to change our man. And as you can see, it resets the direction of our biped to the one we have before. So we need to move this uh, along, and we need to select the moving part. It's inside the pelvis. So I can move this now, like so. So now I can transform our biped. Um, so I move this inside my my man here. I select it from the side, so as you can see what I'm doing. Now <coughs> I select our pelvis region. Keep in mind this one is still uh, selected, and I'm selecting the the stretch tool, and I, and I can stretch the pelvis region like so. So as you can see, I stretch the pelvis a bit and I move it in like so. I will also increase the width of, 
of the shoulders, you can see the shoulders are wider than it is on, on the biped. And as you can see, I've selected the both of those, and I can now increase the width of the both of them together, like so. And I'll, basically what I'm going to do here is I'll select the parts that needs to be changed, and I'll just change them in, uh, in unison, like so. Select both of these, move them up so they would fit with, with his uh, knees as well. The same with the shoulders. Keep in mind the shoulders should be where the shoulders are at and so on and so forth. So when this is done, I just erase this one. I obviously did this before. Like so. So I did the bone structure inside the man before and looked something like this. So this is the bone structure that fits inside my, um, my man that I did before. And what I'm going to do in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to use skin and skin the model to use the bone structure that we just applied inside it. So see you on the next tutorial. This is 3D Modeler on, on YouTube. Thanks for watching.